hi warm welcome to you so in this video we'll try to understand what are trigonometric equations and how to find solutions to them okay before going ahead with the trigonometric equations we are aware of the algebraic equation so something like suppose I have let us say that we have x square minus x equal to 0 I have been given x square minus x equal to 0 this is the equation now what I do whenever I give for the whenever whenever I have been given this type of equation I will try to solve for the value of x which will make this equation true so what I will do now I will take x common there then I will say x into x minus x equal to 0 or I can say x into x minus 1 equal to 0 therefore x equal to 0 or x equal to 1 this is what we know from childhood we are learning this right okay right now trigonometric equations means wherever you have x instead of that you will be having a trigonometric ratio or a trigonometric function that means your x is replaced by either sin x or it can be cot x or cos x tan x or tan square x whatever it is so instead of having x the variable there you are having trigonometric ratio of variable angle x here x is the angle because we are applying trigonometric ratios on the angles which we are aware ok now how a simple equation will be there in the trigonometric, equa trigonometric equation form now we have x square minus x equal to 0 now I r there can be a trigonometric equation which is like sin square x minus sin x equal to 0 now you can see that if I put sin x equal to t that is nothing but t square minus t equal to 0 which is almost similar to whatever you have as the algebraic equation ok now suppose we know that for x square minus x equal to 0 x equal to 0 or x equal to 1 are the solutions let us see how we can find out the solution for this now here also I can write sin square x as sin x into sin x minus sin x equal to 0 I can take sin x common then if I take it out I will have sin x into sin x minus 1 equal to 0 right now how I can write this I can write it as so sin x should be equal to 0 or sin x minus 1 is equal to 0 correct these are the two conditions which can make this whole trigonometric equation as 0 that means uh, sin x equal to 0 sin x is equal to 0 or sin of x is equal to 1 ok now so what will be the value of x that means which angle which angle you know angles right whatever we have learned 0 general angles 0 to 2 pi whatever we have learned like 0 then we know pi by 2 then we know pi by 3 pi by 6 or pi by 4 nothing but in degrees what we are saying is we know 0 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees and we know that pi radians equal to 180 degrees ok right now what what is the value of sin if sin x equal to 0 what is the value of x immediately I will say x equal to 0 because I know sin 0 equal to 0 similarly if sin x equal to 1 immediately I will say x equal to pi by 2 so seems to be pretty much good and we are we seems to be fine right but is this the only solution we have think for a minute if sin x equal to 0 I say x equal to 0 similarly if sin x equal to 1 I say x equal to pi by 2 but is this the only solution for sin x equal to 0 or sin x equal to 1 no because you know that if I take sin curve this is 0 then let me say that this is pi by 2 this is pi this is 3 pi by 2 this is 2 pi ok and let me say this is minus pi by 2 you can see that 
sin 0 is 0 and this is 1 and this is minus 1 you know that sine curve range is minus 1 to 1 so sin pi by 2 is 1 sin pi is 0 sin 3 by pi 2 is minus 1 and sin 2 pi is 0 so I'm starting here sin minus pi by 2 is minus 1 so the curve looks like this I'm just trying to draw this looks like this somewhat okay right so we know that this curve continues as you go for different values of x you have different values like then the curve will be repeating right we know that sin is a periodic function what is the meaning of that meaning of that is the value of the sin function repeats after the interval of the period what is the period of sin function the period of sin function is 2 pi that means if sin 0 is 0 sin 2 pi is also 0 sin 4 pi is also 0 not only that we also observe that sin pi is also equal to 0 correct so if somebody comes now if I say that sin x equal to 0 and I say that okay the solution of this x equal to 0 they can come back and tell me no you are wrong because I think x equal to 2 pi also satisfies that so x can be also equal to 2 pi somebody can come back to me and say that no why why 2 pi I think x equal to 8 pi is also correct you see that x equal to 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi go on okay all multiples of pi we see that the value of sin func sine of x is 0 that means if I say x equal to 0 that is not enough I should be able to specify all the values right so every trigonometric function will have two solutions one solution is called as principal solution one is called as principal solution and the another solution is called as general solution so whatever we have discussed it now suppose I say sin x equal to 0 immediately you said x equal to 0 x equal to 0 is the principal solution okay we will look into that principal solution and why we say that as a principal solution but for the remaining values how general how generic I can say that all the values which are satisfied generally given by the general solution where you will have n multiplied by some f of x where n is nothing but the integer n is nothing but integer which can take values from 0 1 2 3 4 okay or negative also okay so what is the general solution here for the trigonometric function sin x equal to 0 you know that sin 0 is 0 sin pi is 0 sin 2 pi is 0 see here 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi goes on that means can I say it as n pi and just simply say that n belongs to z what I mean I'm saying that n can be any integer and n can take any value of an integer and for all those values sine of x is equal to 0 then x equal to 0 is called the principal solution and the general solution is given by n pi n pi is called as the general solution so the discussion whatever we had is just let me try to summarize this this is just introduction what we are going through in this video so what we are saying is algebraic equations we know and we know how to solve the algebraic equations the value of x is nothing but the value of the solution of that particular equation is the value of x which makes the equation satisfied to be satisfied now trigonometric equations are nothing but equations in which instead of x you have the trigonometric functions or trigonometric ratios as the variables that means instead of x I will have sin square x or tan square x or secant square x where x is nothing but the variable angle because you know that trigonometric ratios are only applied to the angles right now how to solve the trigonometric equations 
very simple how you deal with the algebraic equations similarly you will try to solve it and at the same time you can also apply all the trigonometric identities whatever you are aware if it is a simple equation like sin square x minus sin x equal to 0 I have just taken sin x common I got sin x equal to 0 or sin x equal to 1 now when I know that sin x equal to 0 immediately I tend to say x equal to 0 is the solution of that which is partially correct because x equal to pi 2 pi 3 pi all all the multiples of pi satisfies that sin x equal to 0 so we say that for all trigonometric functions there are two solutions for sin x equal trigonometric equations I pardon pardon me instead of function for all trigonometric equations like sin x equal to 0 or sin x equal to 1 we have two solutions one is principal solution and second one is called the general solution the general solution will take care of all the values of x which satisfies this particular equation and general equation is general general solution is generally given by n multiplied by some function where n is nothing but the e value a variable value which can be taken which can have any value of the integer now sin x equal to 0 the principal solution is nothing but x equal to 0 whereas the general solution is nothing but equal to from the observation we can see that 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi so we know that the general solution is equal to n pi now you can ask me why you have general solution why don't you take only principal solution because we know that all these trigonometric functions are periodic functions that means their values repeat after interval of the their period here the period of sine is 2 pi but also we know that why we are having all because we know that sine if you take alpha we know that sine 2 pi plus alpha is equal to sine alpha not only that we also know that sine pi minus alpha is also equal to sine alpha now when I put alpha equal to 0 that is what I am interested in I get sine 2 pi sine pi so this is nothing but this repeats again that means this is 2 n pi plus alpha this is n pi minus alpha when I put alpha equal to 0 you get all the values pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi all of them satisfy that sin x equal to 0 so the general solution is n into pi for sin x equal to 0 whereas the principal solution is x equal to 0 now let's try to understand a little bit about the principal solution I'm just taking sin x as example here but we will do this again in the next video where we'll go through principal and general solution of sin x cos x and tan x but this is just for introduction part where we are trying to understand what is trigonometric equation and what are the types of solutions we will have for a trigonometric equation what is the meaning of a principal solution and a general solution the principal solution is nothing but equal nothing but the value of x which lies in a particular interval or a window let us say this is called as principal window so for sin x the window is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so any value the value of the x which will satisfy the condition sin x equal to 0 and also lies in the window minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 is called as principal solution whereas the remaining all solutions are called as general solutions and they are given by n into some function okay now why we call this as principal window because if you see here if you see here you can see that all the values of sin x whatever the values of sin x function will have all the values are covered from here to here now suppose I take instead of this instead of this I take the window as 0 to pi I am I am not taking considering this points similarly I take from here to from pi to 2 pi I am not considering the values whatever is coming on the top side but if I take it from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 you can see that all the values of sin x function is covered so the value of x which satisfies sin x equal to 0 and lies in the window minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 interval of this is called as principal solution the remaining solutions whatever satisfies sin x equal to 0 is given by the 
general solution and they are given by the formula n pi when i say n pi n can take a value of 1 2 3 4 whatever the value you want it will satisfy that sin x equal to 0 all the values which satisfy sin x equal to 0 are captured by n pi but the principal solution is nothing but the solution in the window minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 is the principal solution is given by the value of x which lies in the interval so that's about a little bit about principal solution and general solution in the next video we will take sin x equal to 0 cos x equal to tan x equal to 0 and see what are the principal solutions and general solutions so see you in the next video that's the introduction to trigonometric equations hope you liked it thanks for visiting bye for now see you in the next video